A Scottish international strike force through injury. Ali McCoyst and Gordon Jury join long-term casualties. Alan McLaren, David Robertson, Trevor Stephen and Stephen Wright on the sidelines. But Stuart McCall returns after missing the European match in midweek. Donnelly helps it on. Di Canio moves quickly to the wall. He's away from Petrich. A chance for Celtic. Brilliant play by Di Canio. And it's turned away off the line by Petrich. When Paolo Di Canio went into the box there, you can see him sidestep his mind. Clearly foul, I thought. But stayed up when the referee allowed him the shot at goal. Alberts is onside. The referee's halted play. The free kick's been given to Rangers. The goal is chopped off because the whistle had gone before it found the net. It's a free kick to Rangers. It's a strange decision because really Rangers obviously would have wanted that to run and they had they had the ball exactly where they wanted. High rocks in recent weeks. And the wall stood up well to that. Back with Van Bossen. Range of retained possession. Tom is still out of the play, getting back to his feet unsteadily. Gascoigne against Grant. And Marshall at full stretch. Shows it to defender. Goes, goes again, makes possession. What a magnificent save by Gordon Marshall. Just got his finger to the side. Good pressing play by Rangers. Here's Gascoigne. He's been fouled. Free kick to Rangers. Low drop, looking for McCall. Good save by Marshall. And an excellent recovery there by Vcost on Cleland. It was, wasn't it? Real inventive. And look at McCall peeling off there. And once again, Marshall, the save Celtic. Tremendous save. That's for Di Canio. He's onside. That's good running by Di Canio. And a superb tackle there by McCall. Well, that's fine play by Di Canio, but there's no one in the far post. It was a great ball in. Moore did well. And Di Canio has every right to complain about a lack of support coming in the far post. With a bit of trouble off the ball here. The referee, Young, is going across to take action there. Dosh McKinley goes in and is booked for being a bit impetuous and challenging. Donnelly. Good effort by Donnelly. Strong defending by Petrich on Donnelly. And this is McCall breaking. Handball by McKinley. Oh, McKinley is going to go off. He's going off. The yellow card for McKinley, followed by the red. Oh, the seventh Celtic player of the season to be ordered off. And how this may change the complexion of what has been a very even match so far. Tommy Barnes and Billy Stark consider the options tactically. It's a break from, from Celtic. You know, Tosh McKinley puts his hand out and the referees get no option but to give him a yellow card. And so there's a collision off the ball there, an accidental one, O'Neill and Gascoigne, and they both have taken a knock. Well, O'Neill, I don't think, appreciates Gascoigne, but the referee's satisfied, I'm sure, that it was accidental. So there are the two players at the top of the picture there, and Gascoigne and O'Neill running across each other. I do believe that was accidental. Oh. Taking something out, out of very little. Here's Vikost. That's a good save by Gordon. Here's Alberts. Van Bossen coming into the left, which he does so well. Alberts. Splendid save by Marshall. It's good play just on the edge of the box by Rangers. Bit of interplay there. A little break there, but Alberts doesn't half hit this. Again, it's a tremendous left-footed cross at the box by Alberts. It, the astonishing thing for me is we all know Go Richard Goff's ability in there meets this one perfectly. The surprising thing is he's given so much room with the Celtic defence. Because 
He shouldn't need to worry about too many defensive chores. Loudrop in behind Hughes. Oh, that's great play by Loudrop and the block played by Marshall. Gascoigne reacts to McCall's demand for the ball in midfield. Here's Moore. He course have been pulled out of position. Right off struck, but straight down Marshall's throat, and he's in good form now. Bad throw it, though. Marshall apologises to his defence as Loudrop sets up the cross. McCall. Blocked by Grant, appeals the handball, waved the side by the referee. Bad tackle there by Paul. Asquai may play it short and beyond the wall. There it goes. Here's Alberts. Well, the advertising holding, feeling the full sting of that shot from Alberts. He strikes the ball so well, but I think Gascoigne just plays it a little bit further than Alberts wanted, and he snatches it just that little bit past. There's no offside, here's the Canio. Now Grant! That's the out! That seemed to be impossible. Peter Grant cannot believe that, and nor can anyone inside the stadium. Totally remarkable. You know, you wouldn't believe that, De Canio, whether or not he attended it, but... He slips it to Peter Grant, great strike and very cruel for He needs some power and some running down this left-hand side and Tom Boyd will surely supply that. As is Gascoigne, skipping away from Hughes, driving at the Celtic defence. Very good goalkeeping once again by... Neil sending a great pass to Di Canio. He needs help in the middle. Retaining possession brilliantly for Grant. Easy direction, he moves so quickly, always in control of the ball, and really Peter Grant should be doing more than that final effort. Gascoigne to Loudrop. That's for Alberts. Gascoigne wants it played early in the box. Here's Gascoigne. Well, he can't resist the little showmanship. Well, amazing little. Attempt there by Gascoigne, the cross coming in from the left, he tried to showboat that into the net. Back to Mara. Alberts makes the tackle, and Grant is out of position. He made a run on the outside. Low drop of Alberts and Van Vossen. Here's Alberts. And that's a terrific tackle by Mike Namara. Here's De Canio. Now Mike Namara, chance here for Celtic. John Hughes is there! It's off the crossbar! The Celtic players can't believe him. Gascoigne might punish them now on the counter-attack. Celtic are fit in the back. Low drop, wide for Alberts. There's Gascoigne! Tremendous ball in from the left hand side by Alberts and Gascoigne has run from his own penalty at almost bullets at the net, but it was a real sucker punch and there the quality of the cross is there to be seen and you don't see Gascoigne miss those too often. Well, that's a brilliant ball by Alberts and Gascoigne positioned himself brilliantly. He knew he was going to score here, he dived in with a head up. Marshall was helpless and Gascoigne collects his seventh goal this season. Gascoigne winking to the dugout there. But it might have been so different had that goal gone at the other end. Great play by Paulo De Canio, setting up Jackie McNamara for the cross. The header from John Hughes comes back off the bar. Another down by Dorkland. Here's McNamara. Grant. Big horse to McNamara. Dorkland keeps the ball and play to avoid a corner kick. Alberts forward. There's Boyd now for Celtic. A bit of consolation goal now. That's a bad tackle on B course. The free kick's taken quickly. Here's McNamara and now Hughes. It reaches De Canio. A chance on here. Still De Canio. And Gorham makes the save. Oh, it's brilliant play by Gorham and by Paolo De Canio, who certainly doesn't deserve to be in the losing side this afternoon.
Thornley's corner. McLaughlin across to Mike Namara. Lord test for Gorham. Well, credit due to Celtic for the way in which they fought to the end. But it is the end now. Rangers have won the first old firm match of the season. And the gap at the top of the table goes to five points. Richard Goff got a vital opener on the corner kick from Jorg Alberts in 51 minutes. Celtic run out of luck. Peter Grant hit the post. Then John Hughes hit the bar before Paul Gascoigne headed the clincher just before the end. It was rough luck and a battling Celtic side, which Paddyo was outstanding up front. But the first blood of the old fun season goes to Rangers. It's Rangers 2, Celtic 0.